In developing a project with an international standards in which it invests and works, Minera San Cristobal undertook a commitment with Bolivia. The San Cristobal Mining Project, located in Nor Lipas province of the Department of Potosí, started its activities in 1996 and dedicated the first three years to develop an exploration program that resulted in the discovery of the largest ore deposit in Bolivia with unexploited mineral resources of silver, zinc and lead. The feasibility study for the future open pit exploration, carried out on the basis of the exploration program results, determined that considerable capital investment was required, in addition to the incorporation of the latest technology for the mining operation. After three years, in which the development of the program was postponed, the year 2004 marked the beginning of logistical implementation and construction of the basic infrastructure which provides for a landing strip access roads, camps, and comfortable and adequate dining rooms that accommodated and fed more than 4,000 people who work unceasingly in order to have the mine start its operations. A hospital equipped to meet any emergency where daily care is provided to the workers, recreation rooms, cable TV, and mobile phone services. The construction of the plant and preparation of the mine was completed in 2007 thanks to the efforts of more than 40 contractors. The construction of a power line of 230 kilovolts and 172 kilometers in length for running the operation has been completed. A train rail is used for exporting concentrates. A 65 kilometer train section was built between the mine and the Rio Grande station. It is the first to be built in the country after 60 years. Commitment to neighboring communities and their sustainable development began in 1999 with the community of San Cristobal, when the town, along with its cemetery, its church, and some of their sacred places were moved. Minera San Cristobal works with the communities in the preservation of their values, culture, and customs, in the improvement of their urban infrastructure, providing them with basic services such as drinking water, electric power, internet, telephone, and mobile telephone services, and in the establishment of health centers and permanent medical care. Through joint agreements within the frame of a sustainable development vision, the intent is for San Cristobal, Cupinaca, Vila Vila, and Rio Grande and other communities becoming self-sustainable so that when the mining project comes to an end, a solid local economy remains. In the course of the mining operation, 1,000 people will be employed in qualified jobs, and approximately another 3,000 people will have indirect jobs. Most of the specialized jobs are performed by community members from the area who are already being trained. The intention being that it is they who are later better integrated in the project operations and have a higher degree of responsible jobs. The open pit mining operation begins with the extraction of mineralized rock using large capacity heavy equipment. Circulation of this equipment requires the construction of high traffic roads more than 30 meters wide. The heavy equipment consists of 18 trucks with a cargo capacity of up to 200 tons. 150,000 tons of rock are extracted daily, 40,000 of which are the mineralized material that is sent to the concentration plant, and the remaining 110,000 tons of waste material is accumulated in the dumps. Mineralized material then goes to the primary crusher and is transported to a 1700 meter conveyor belt which ends in the stockpile area. From there, it is sent to the sag mill and to the ball mills to be finally treated in the large flotation cells where zinc silver and lead silver concentrates are produced. Modern chemical and metallurgical laboratories are currently in operation. They're used to analyze samples of the material to be exported. 
This plant, which is mainly operated by workers from San Cristobal, Vila Vila, and Kulpina Ka, generates a total of 1,600 tons of zinc silver and lead silver concentrates a day. And it relies on the most advanced technology in the world. All of these activities are being carried out respecting and complying with Bolivian environmental standards and laws, as well as with those of the World Bank and the Equatorial Principles, since Minera San Cristobal has taken on the responsibility of keeping the environment healthy, clean and safe for the benefit of its workers and the neighboring communities. Minera San Cristobal complies with all labor, industrial and environmental standards in effect in the country and with international standards. Benefits for all its workers include fair pay, a safe working environment, adequate food, comfortable lodging, a policy of permanent concern for industrial and labor safety, and constant health care for its dependents. With San Cristobal's mining operation, Bolivia received an investment of $1,400 million. Minera San Cristobal has a long-term commitment to Bolivia. The project will contribute to a substantial increase in Bolivian mining exports, and it will be an example for other companies to invest in the country.